Good afternoon. I have recently opened up three new files uh, regarding future writing projects. And one of those writing projects is to address Bible prophecy. Now, we are still in the preseason, just uh, piecing together information, uh, different articles, mainly uh, my having to read through uh, different books. And one of the books which I acquired uh, just before some of our summer travels, I even referenced it uh, in a previous short, is this one, The Rise and Fall of Dispensationalism by Daniel Hummel. Uh, and it is getting some uh, circulation in various uh, circles. Now, I just started uh, reading this book uh, at the end of the week, and I expect to be reading it uh, over the course of the next week. And uh, what I am reading so far is very uh, interesting. Hummel was raised in a dispensational home with uh, books by uh, people like uh, Tim LaHaye, Dwight Pentecost, John Wolverd, Charles Ryrie, etc., taken very, very seriously. And he is effectively uh, trying to trace the influence of a dispensational theology, not just from Dallas Theological Seminary, but uh, the influence of dispensational theology on contemporary pop religion, on mega churches, on popular media, particularly things like Left Behind, uh, and a lot of the things which uh, have affected a great deal of evangelicalism and have been associated not only with a huge number of false end-time predictions, but I suspect also evangelical support for Israel. So this is going to be a very interesting book to read through. And, of course, in the background, uh, my question is, how has dispensationalism positively or negatively affected the Messianic community? Uh, are we leading in the area of eschatology, or are we still following? So those will be things which I will have to weigh when the uh, my reading is completed. Uh, as always, you know, we don't know all the details regarding the return of the Messiah. All of us have been subjected to false end-time predictions and sensationalism. All of us have jumped the gun and uh, been a little too fearful. Uh, so I know that uh, some of the things that Hummel talks about will also bring those matters into focus.